What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over the best night filters in 2K20 right now. And if you guys don't know, we usually do this every Sunday, and I'm just going to keep going over them because they're fire. Before we get into the video, we get 120 likes. We'll do a giveaway on Twitter for some MT. Um, also, man, please drop the sub, man. We're getting closer and closer to 7K. We double upload every day, and honestly, um, please make sure to follow my Twitter also down below. And uh, yeah, before we get into the video, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And guys, today we got the Snipe Filters, as per usual. And I'm thinking about running a nice stream later. I'm thinking about running a huge stream on 12-0. I went 11-1 yesterday. I don't want to talk about how I lost. I lost by three points and some crazy animations happened. Like, crazy. I've never seen that in my life, so... If you guys can please like the video for stream later, I want to grind. I want to grind. And also, all these right here are all snipes for under 1K besides Iguodala. I got him for 17K. So all these were in a span of about 20 minutes of sniping. And this is what I got. All the Amethysts are for 1K and under. And the Pink Dot Iggy was for 17K. So these are what I got on the snipe filters just to show you guys. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop into some snipe filters. So... One snipe filter I've seen that has been one of the most hot snipe filters and has been good since day one. This snipe filter, dude, dude, I'm telling you, these cards have value and kids throw them up like they're dirt. I mean, dude, this snipe filter has been good since day one. And I still can't believe how kids just throw up these cards for the low. Um, so you all you want to do is put your maximum buyout to whenever you see a card and just keep refreshing. Pretty much you want to avoid Paul George unless you get him for 4500 Anything else that pops up is a W, so do not hesitate and pick it up. Um, you kind of want to focus on Curry, Giannis, and uh, Harden, Kevin Durant, those cards. So, like I said, man, try to honestly just refresh here, see the two Paul Georges. You could honestly have time and scroll over. This method has been really good. It was better a couple months ago, but it's pretty good now because kids are like, bro, out with this Paul George, bro, that goes for nothing. This filter, one of my favorite filters since day one, next filter. See... This filter was the best filter in the game, by far. But now, since they do have the new content, all the new Amethyst, we got a little bit of issues because the new content has dropped. And if you guys picked up some cards for the 1100, it already has, already has rows about 200 MT. So that's kind of a W. Um, personally, this snipe filter is obviously good. If anything pops up other than these players, you're going to make a minimum of like 800 MT, I would say. So yeah, obviously this night builder is good. What you want to do, put your minimum buyout to whatever um, at 500 and maximum to 1250. Refresh with the maximum bid over the maximum buyout. And you just want to keep doing this. This night filter has been good for a really long time. There's a lot of Amethyst cards that goes for like 5k plus. So if you consistently do this and you're patient, they're going to get a lot of MT made. Like I mean a lot of MT made. Pretty solid night filter. I would definitely recommend sitting on it. And honestly... I don't know what's going on lately. These snipe filters, a lot of snipe filters have been really dry ever since Friday. Friday was popping. There was a mini market crash. And ever since Friday, bro, it hasn't been the same. And I just want to show you guys my team. I'm going to be running in the stream. Ah, uh, nah, it's not good. Um, This is my squad, man. This is the money squad. I went 11-1 with this squad. It has been absurd. Honestly, Lonzo Ball is my MVP, bro. I put him in, and he dunks on any Opal. RJ Barrett is a green machine. I literally am a cheese. I literally am one of those losers that do um those three-point shots. What is it called? Trailing threes, bro. Cheese. This card is disgusting. Get this card. If you could get him, this is the best. One of the best cards in the game. I don't need Tracy, MJ. I don't care. This card is the best release in the game. I don't care. Amazing. Just try it out. This is my team on the wrong stream. Just letting so you know. Sorry for that. But yeah, next filter, bro. If you guys know this filter, Galaxy Opal filter. Obviously, if you catch something to pop up, you're going to dub out. Galaxy Opal, all you want to do is remove your minimum buyout. That's all you need to do. 
These are all the cards you could get. If you get one of these cards, you dub out. Unless you get AI, it's not really the biggest dub, but it's still a dub. Um, ben Simmons, bro. If you could get a Ben Simmons, Logic Looks got one. Logic Looks got a Kareem. He's just a snipe goat. Bro, I need to switch to PS4 because PS4 has so much more market flow. Like, straight up, if you looked at Young Simba snipe challenges, Logic Looks snipe challenges, stuff pops up every second. And I'm just sitting here on Xbox like a fool, bro. I swear the snipes are not as hot out here. And it's kind of annoying. But yo, this snipe filter, if you do get something, huge W. And honestly, if you're not on the Galaxy Double Filter, you also need at least 100k for this just in case something pops up for 100k. And you do not have it. But yo, Galaxy Opal Mello is the best small forward in the game. I have KD off the bench. I'm telling you, bro. If you have Kristaps Porzingis, he sold on me. I replaced Kristaps Porzingis with Christian Ladner. Christian Ladner is a green machine, bro. He makes every jump shot. Porzingis has sold me. On my game, I lost when I went 11-1. He has sold me. He sold me the game. He missed four open threes. I mean open, open. He sold the game. I lost by three points. He missed way too many shots. I think he went 0 for 5 from the field with all open missed shots. So, got rid of Porzingis, replaced him with Ladner. Ladner has been a green machine. And honestly, it's getting competitive. So, next night, Filter. You guys might know this if you are a sub. This one, shout out to, I think, fourth quarter. Somebody, I don't remember who showed me this night, Filter. But it's still money to this day. Moments, power forward, ping diamond, minimum buyout. Honestly, this night, Filter is good. Because, yo, you could just scroll over. Like, there's not that many Aaron Gordons. So, you could honestly sit on this filter, scroll, and keep refreshing. Um, there used to be no Aaron Gordons. There used to be money. But it honestly has slowed down considering the fact there really is no Aaron Gordon. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Aaron Gordons. Definitely try out the filter, though. If you could snipe something, bro, with Zion pops up, Giannis, or Kawhi, they're on this filter, the all-star one. So, definitely try it out. Not only that, bro, if you snipe out Zion, it's a pretty decent W because he's so hype beast. And everybody wants a card. And a lot of my subs has sniped out Giannis and Kawhi on here. So, I would 100% recommend doing it. Um, I'm probably one of the only guys that just don't snipe. I'm more of an investment type of guy because I always miss snipes unless it's like Ami or Diamond Filter. Those are the easiest snipe filters in my opinion. And uh, yeah, let's get into the next one. So if you guys don't know, man, Diamond Filter, straight cash. Um, it's been cash for a while. Like I said, man, market's very slow right now. I don't know what's going on. I guess everyone's grinding, playing 12-0 and 0, or playing the Sim Challenges. I don't know, but this snipe filter is good. And honestly, I have a feeling they're going to drop a locker code very soon. Right here, man, Earl Monroe, 4300. You kind of just want to sit on the 4300. That's fine, 4250. Put your minimum buyout to whatever you want. Refresh the maximum bid over the maximum buyout. And yeah, pretty freaking fire. This night filter is pretty fire. Been good for a while. Just remember, man, when new content drops, all these night filters are 10 times more active than they are now. Really, no one's, I guess, playing the game right now. I guess the users are down. But yeah, this night filter is amazing when the markets crash or is market moving when there's market movement and you have mt bro that's why i say sell cards when there's market movement you can snipe cards with your eyes closed and it's crazy how good it is next filter this filter is actually low-key good now with pink diamonds actually becoming less rare i like this filter and you can probably snipe a ton of cards off here i would put your filter to around i don't know like 18k 75 okay about 18k hopefully nothing else pops up 18 okay so we're gonna put it right here 18k scroll method put your max bid up you can move your minimum buyout wouldn't recommend but yeah this is pretty much the last night filter i'm going to show you this night filter i got one iggy on it that's all i got honestly if you wait like if you could honestly get one snipe every 10 minutes you're gonna make a lot of mt depending on who you get like if you get uh paul george that's a W. Some kids are just crazy. They just throw up the cards. Some do it accidentally. But nah, bro. If you're doing this, I don't know. One other snipe filter. It's not really a snipe filter. One player I would ra I would honestly focus on that's really good and you can make a lot of MT is Paul George Pink Diamond because he's 170K. I have a feeling I might snipe one today. Like, if you get one, first off, you're going to make a minimum 50K. Minimum. Um, this card might be a deadly card to snipe. I really would try doing it because if you do get a Paul George for around 100k, huge W. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. If you guys have any snipes, any MT making methods, let me know down below. That would be greatly appreciated. And honestly, yeah, that's, that's really all I got. We're going to have another video on insane hitting Galaxy Obels. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is all I got.
honestly, bro, I'm hyped for the stream later. Please pull up. It would be greatly appreciated. Last stream, man, we topped out at like 380 viewers. If you guys could get that again, you're goaded. That's really all I got, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.